Hey guys, so I am back with another travel vlog and I just touched down on a beautiful island of Grenada, also known as the Spice Isle. So I'm here in my Airbnb and before I settle in and unpack, I just wanna give you guys a quick tour of the place. And FYI, I forgot my microphone for my camera. So I'm actually using the built-in microphone of this camera. So I will try my best to make sure the sound is decent when I edit. So apologies in advance. So here's the door when I walk in. And here's the kitchen area. I already went to the market, got me some water. Very spacious. At the table. And here is the living area. I have my laptop set up because I have to work in the morning. And then you can come out on the balcony. And here is my view. But let's go in and I'll show you guys the sleeping quarters. Okay, so here is the bedroom. Spacious as well. Super cute. Of course, the AC, it feels good in here. And go walk out to the balcony again. See, and over here is where the living area is. That's where we came out first. So here's my view as Grand Anse Beach. Grand aunts, grand aunts. So you know we're gonna see the beach at some point. It's just beautiful. Very spacious out here. Okay, let's go in. Now 
I'll show you guys the closet. We have a mirror. And this closet is pretty big. Let me turn on the light so you guys can see if that even helps. There's the closet, very spacious. That's my luggage. Then we're gonna come out. And right across is the bathroom area. Spacious shower. And clean, which is very important. You guys know how I do. I check the bed bugs sanitize the place. I have my disposable bed sheets. I'm gonna replace the sheets and do all of that. And then I'm going to take a shower, get dressed and find something to eat. So I'll see you guys later. A little longer than a few minutes later. Y'all, it's pitch black out here. Hey guys, it is the next day. As you saw from the previous clip, I had to put in some hours of work before I actually can get my day started. And sorry about last night, I couldn't vlog that much because baby, it was a struggle. These hills here in Grenada, I'm staying in St. George's by the way, they are no joke. And I heard about them from reviews and other travel vlogs. Baby, I could not vlog. They are so steep and there's so many. So you guys, if you come into St. George's Grenada, wear sneakers. So I'm about to change into my sneakers. I have on my sandals right now just to take some photos and either Uber it. They have an Uber here, it's called Halup. I'll stick the logo up on the screen. So it's the equivalent to Uber. And they have another app. My Airbnb host sent me those, but I'm gonna stick to Halup because Halup is used the most here. So either taxi, rent a car, or Uber, AKA Halup because these hills are no joke. I figured like, oh, okay, you know, I do a lot of walking. I couldn't do it. I had to stop multiple times to catch my breath and keep going. Going down is easier. Going down the hills are easier, but it was the coming back up and there were so many hills. No, can't do it. So the outfit of the day is this romper. You guys know I love my rompers. It has a back slit. Well, you guys can see it has a cinch in waist and it has a bow here i'm not going to put on a belt and it ties around the neck and it has pockets y'all you know i love my pockets so like i mentioned i'm going to switch into my sneakers before my tour oh so i have a tour of the island today in about 30 minutes my Uber will be here in about 30 minutes because I have to meet my tour guide. He's not coming to pick me up. So I have to meet him and then we're gonna leave from the meetup location. So before we meet up, I just wanna take a few pictures. And like my previous vlog, it is hot, guys. It is 88 degrees and it feels like 100, okay? I kid you not. It is so hot, like I'm always sweating but it's nice i like it if you don't mind the heat and humidity you know why not right so i'm gonna prop you guys up again on the tripod watch me take a few pictures and then we're gonna head out for the tour
So this is a sampling area. Okay. So when we are sampling, it's best to start with a 100%, which contains absolutely no sugar. Then we have the 60%, which are the sweetest. In the 60%, we have different flavors. We have the 60%. by the French, so yes. they'd rather die, die yes. because they were gonna, the yeah, French well, were gonna make them slaves, slaves or... Um, they, they were gonna rape the women, what the French yeah. did when they first came, they of course befriended them, gave them things that they needed, like metal and so on, they didn't have metal in the old days, and got them drunk, once they got drunk, they then started to molest the women, they wanted more than that, they wanted to kill the, kill the chief and take the women, and instead of being captured, they, they decide to run away and take their own lives, and that's what they did. So it's called Olympus Hill, which has changed completely for what it once were back in the day, because if you didn't know about the story, you wouldn't think anything actually.
Welcome to Grenada Distillers Limited, home of the world's famous Glasgow rum and Grenada's number one rum. All right. Today, yes. this is what we have for you. This is the variety that we have for you. We have ranging from our cream liqueurs. So we have a chocolate cream, passion fruit cream, and coconut cream. So these are, they have milk added to them. And you can have them chill on ice or drizzled over desserts. We have two liqueurs which doesn't have milk added. We have a coffee liqueur which has hints of chocolate and caramel. And we have a kamaho liqueur which is guava based and it's infused with spices. So it's a spiced liqueur. Fun fact the name Kamahan was given to Grenada from the Armorine. Yeah. These are examples of cocoa pods, all right? These two are two main types. So there are types of cocoa pods where you get chocolate from, right? Now, cocoa has different names. In Grenada, we say cocoa, but in some parts of the world, they would call it cacao or cacao, right? I so different cacao. names. Yeah, that cacao, yeah, cacao is pretty, pretty right? So cacao, so a, a first seed, in the ground, takes uh, five years to mature into a tree. The cocoa grows on the tree like this, right? Mm -hmm. When the pods turn completely yellow, mm -hmm. that's when you know the fruit is ready. your drink now in the actual seeds these have been roasted okay once the seeds are roasted you can take off a shell there's a shell what comes off 
and the actual seed is grinded. The nut is grinded. All right, open your hand. I want you to smell the aroma. Smell the aroma. Good. All right. So let's go. So like this. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, like that. Yeah. And what is it doing in there? Is it crushing it? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Put some back into it. Put some back into it. It's getting tough. Yeah, it's getting tough. Yeah. So that's the cocoa was being was being grinded there. Oh, okay. Hey guys, so right now I am at the top of Fort George and the view is absolutely amazing. Check out this view.